Good morning, Charlotte. How you about sick of it? Good morning, Charlotte. Good morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome, guys. Welcome this morning to 5.30 a.m. prayer, and I am Sophia McBride. Hi, good morning, Keisha. Thank you for joining us this morning. I guess you can kind of tell it's, it's a sober time. It's a sober time, and I'm going to ask you guys to really talk back to me this morning to let me know that you are... You with me, and we are praying together and believing God together. Amen. Amen. Uh, also, I want to ask you, because I'm getting ready to talk about what Christians, how, good morning, Heather, how Christians should respond to hate, how intercessors should respond to hate. Excuse me. And so if you could even right now begin to share this video, let's not wait to the end. I'm asking you to share, not because I want to be popular. I'm asking you to share because Christians need to know the heart of God. Intercessors need to know the heart of God. I am a person who by nature is a fighter. Um, in fact, uh, from, from my very birth, <laughs> I was fighting. Uh, and so I, I, that's just my nature. I, I, I am a fighter. My husband used to tell me I like to fight. I really don't like to fight. I have to fight. And, um, and so that's something I've had to do all my life. So my nature would say, rise up and fight. Rise up and, 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 and war. And God is a God of war. But what I do know is that I have to listen to the voice of the Lord. And I have to hear what God is saying about any particular issue or, or, or topic. Let me turn this off, guys. So I do want you to share it right now. And um, we know that there is a miscarriage of justice that is occurring all over the land, all over America, that black men in particular... Black men, women, and children, and just people of color are, are being grossly, grievously uh, abused and killed. And now to the point where they're just doing it right in our face. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, I have a very holy indignation in my heart. And, but I want to share with you the heart of God this morning. And I want to make sure that you are properly equipped with the full armor of God. You'll find that in Ephesians 6 and 10. All right. So make sure you put on your armor. And of course, we're going to be praying over you. But uh, before we get into the word this morning, I'd like to invite you, everyone on the calls on both lines, I'd like to invite you to uh, join the, the prayer assassins army. The Prayer Assassin's Army. Listen to this. Now more than ever. Now more than ever. I know for sure that God has called the Prayer Assassin's Army into being. I know that for sure. I know If I did not know that before, I know that he has a plan and that he is working it right now. And he needs to teach intercessors. He needs to teach Christians. So really, it's for Christians. You know, look, Christians who want to pray effectively. All right. God is building an army of intercessors that will know how to access the control center the, of the enemy without detection. That is what God is doing with the prayer assassins. Do you hear me? Ha yabasi. Ah yabasiya. He's going to teach you how to just strategically dismantle the inner workings workings of the enemy's camp. Strategically. 
uh, we want you to join the prayer assassins army and learn how to pray effectively, learn how to pray powerfully and, and explosive prayers that change things on earth. I know God has called this, this for called us for such a time as this. Don't allow the enemy to tell you or to cause you to be in fear fear and say oh that's not for me i don't want to. that's god didn't call he called he's calling you he's calling you any intercessor that you know for sure he's calling you to an army a unified army and then you understand what i'm saying you can join you can contact me by messenger or you can go to my website, www.sophiamcbride.com. You can, you can sign up there. Remember, the class is free. So it's, it's something that God is calling us to right now. Do you understand? All right. Hallelujah. We're going to get started here. Let's start in uh, the scripture this morning. And I'm going to take my time. And I'm going to read this word to you this morning. We're going to read it together. If you have your Bibles, and I'm, let me tell you what we're reading first. We're going to read Psalms 35. No, I'm not screaming and hollering. I'm not because I need you to hear me. This is a very serious thing this morning. Psalms 35. Psalms 35 and 1. It's a very good morning, First Lady Stone. Thank you for being with us this morning. Good morning. We're in Psalms 35. We're going to read Psalms 35, 1 through 4, 5 through 8. We're going to go 11 through 12, 17 through 24. Now, I'm saying this so that you can follow along. And later on, you need to go back and read the whole Psalms 35, okay? But Psalms 35, that's where we're starting today. Contend, O Lord. With those who contend with me. Fight against those who fight against me. Take hold of shield and buckler. And stand up for my help. Draw out also the spear and javelin. And close up the way of those who pursue and persecute me. Say to me, I am your deliverance. Let them be put to shame and dishonor who seek and we require my life. Let them be turned back and confounded who plan my hurt. For let them be a chafe before the wind with an ain't with the angel of the lord driving them on let their way be through dark and slippery places with the angel of the lord pursuing and afflicting them for without cause they hide for me their net a pit of destruction without cause they dug for my life my god my god come on y'all listen to the word let the destruction befall my foe unawares and i'm reading from the amplified let the net he hid for me catch him let him fall into that very destruction and we're going to skip down to 11 through 12. False witnesses did rise up. They laid to my charge things that I knew not. They rewarded me evil. They rewarded me evil for good. To the spoiling, excuse me, to the spoiling of my soul. Now let me read it in the Amplified malicious and unrighteous witnesses rise up they ask me of things that i know not they reward me evil for good to my personal bereavement mm. 
Go down to 17. Lord, how long will you look on without action? Rescue my life from their destructions, my dear and only life from the lions. I will give you thanks in the great assembly. I will praise you among a mighty throng. Let not those who are wrongfully my fo foes rejoice over me. Neither let them wink with the eye who hate me without cause. For they do not speak peace, but they devise deceitful matters against those who are quiet in the land. Yes, they open their mouth wide against me. They say, ah, ah, our eyes have seen it. You have seen this, O oh Lord. Keep not silent, O oh Lord. Be not far from me. Arouse yourself. Arouse yourself, God. Awake to the justice do me. Even to my cause my God and my Lord, and we're in 24, judge and vindicate me, O oh Lord, my God. But listen to this, according to your righteousness, your rightness and justice, and let my Foes not rejoice over me. Let me read that one more time. We're in 24. Judge and vindicate me, O Lord, my God. According to your righteousness, your rightness and justice. And let my foes not rejoice over me. Good morning, Wendell. Good morning, Letitia. Good morning. Thank you all so much for jo uh, joining us. Remember, just speak back to me. Talk to me this morning. Let me know you are hearing me loud and clear. We're going to another scripture. Yes, we are. And I know that this is taking time, but we got to establish our biblical basis. All right. I want to establish our biblical basis. Randi Angolia Soki Anaki Anadia Bakia Sonia Yasa Yanakadia Sandana de Randi Bokadia Rania Kiasia Yagano de Yasa Psalms one forty Psalms one forty Anakadia Colia Conia Cadia Soko Yaba Conia Ya Daka Yadaba Yaka Yaka Nadiaba Psalms one forty and we're going to read one through six eight and then ten through twelve. 1 through 6, 8, and then 10 through 12. Hallelujah. Let's read the word. Deliver me, O Lord, from evil men. Preserve me from violent men. They devise mischief in their heart. Continually, they gather together and stir up wars. They sharpen their tongues like serpents and adders, poisons, is under their lips. Salah, which means pause and think of that. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from the violent men who have purpose to thrust aside my steps. The proud have hidden a snare for me. They have spread cords as net by the way the wayside. They have set traps for me. Salah. Pause and think of that. They've set traps for us. I said to the Lord, you are my God. Give ear to the voice of my supplications. Oh Lord. Oh God, the Lord, the strength of my salvation. 
you have covered my head in the day of battle. Grant not, O Lord, the desires of the wicked. Further not their wicked plots and device, lest they exalt themselves. Salah, pause and think of that. Mm. We're going down here to 10 through 12. Let burning coals fall upon them. Let them be cast into the fire, into floods of water or deep water pits from which they shall not rise. Let not a man of slanderous tongue be established in the earth. Let evil hunt the violent man to overthrow him. Let calamity follow his evil doings. I know and rest in confidence upon it that the Lord will maintain the cause of the afflicted. The Lord will maintain the cause, yes, of the afflicted. God is the ultimate avenger. Yes, God. And will secure justice for the poor and the needy of his believing children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of the Lord for the people of God. Hayabasi, I want to tell you, well, let me pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I just pray that this morning I only say what you would have me to say. I don't say my own opinion, but I say what's on the heart of God. Lord, give me your heart. I decrease now in order that your perfect will is established and the mind of Christ is spoken forth today. In the name of Jesus, I pray, amen. I wanna share with you, uh, I actually had three sets of dreams and this was about two and a half, three years ago. I had three dreams and they were all very similar, all very similar. The dream, uh, the main dream that I'm gonna tell you about, there was a, a army. Ah, yeah, an army, and they were dressed in, in as if they were the KKK, and they um, they were marching down the street, and in this particular dream, I was for some reason in Memphis, Tennessee. I don't know if you saw my page, but there is something going on in Memphis right now. But this dream was three years ago. Good morning, Tanya. Good morning. Welcome to the call. Uh, um, they were marching down the street and they had a commander and they were all dressed in white except for the commander. And he gave them a command. And when he gave them, they fell to the ground. They lay flat on their face with their weapons. And it was, and for some reason, I was at my cousin's house. I have a cousin and it was her, it was at her house. And we were standing outside. Me and my husband were standing outside. And the, the, uh, all of a sudden, when they dropped to the ground, he was saying something to them and they just laid there still. But then he gave them another command. And when he gave them that command, they jumped up with their weapons and began to come into the neighborhood where we were. And I have had three dreams like that. And then I had another one. They were marching in my own neighborhood. And they were coming after my husband. I don't believe that was just about my husband. I believe that was about what is going on in our nation right now against the African-American man and really against people of color, period. People of color, period. But in particular, the African-American man. And I did want to give you all of that scripture so that we could uh, 
to establish a biblical basis. Father, we ask you to come in right now. Yes, God, we do bind the spirit of fear. Thank you, Vera. We do bind the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. See, when we are angry and when we are upset and infuriated over a matter, we tend to want the people or the person who has afflicted pain or suffering to feel the level or the intensity of the pain or hurt that we are feeling. We want them to hurt and we want them to suffer. We want them to pay for what they are doing. Hayaba Santa. There's nothing wrong with being angry. There really is nothing wrong with being angry. But I can hear people saying there's nothing wrong with being angry. Even Jesus was angry. Don't y'all remember he went in the temple and he turned over the tables? Don't y'all remember Matthew 21, 12 through and 13 where Jesus went in and he overturned the tables because he was angry? But you have to understand something. That, that Jesus was angry, hallelujah, because they were, they were, um, the people were conducting corrupt business in his church. They were corrupt people in his church selling stuff. Hallelujah. They had no reverence for the word of God. Uh, I want to offer that to you this morning to think about what Jesus was really angry about. He was really angry about the fact, hallelujah, that they had no reverence for God. He had a what's called a holy indignation. It was a holy indignation for dishonoring his father's house. Hallelujah, because the people had made his father's house common and and they had no reverence for god they didn't respect the house of god so he was angry but it was a holy indignation and there is nothing wrong with a holy indignation there's nothing wrong with that in fact, the word of God declared, it, it says, that be angry, at, but sin not. Be angry, but sin not. So you can be angry. You can be very angry. You can have a holy indignation, but sin not. Which indicates, if the word says, be angry, but sin not. It indicates to us that there is a right way and a wrong way to be angry. Do you understand me? Come on, talk back to me. Yes, righteous anger. The vengeance, yes, God belongs to God. If we look back at our text in Psalms 35 and 24, if we look back right there, we see how God would have us to pray for vindication. Yes, God is a God of war, but even that comes in strategy. Do you understand what I'm saying this morning? Even that comes in strategy. It says, judge and vindicate me, O Lord, my God, according to your righteousness, your rightness and justice, your, his, his righteousness and justice, not what we think, but what God thinks, his righteousness, his rightness and justice. Do you hear me this morning? 
Y'all come on, talk back with me. Come on, talk to me. Listen, I am not saying that we should not protest and should not march and speak out against grave injustices against black men and women and children and all people of color. I am definitely not saying that this morning. We should do that. This is, that is our absolute right. And that's what we should do. Do you understand? But what I am saying is there is a right way and there is, there is a right way and a wrong way to pursue justice. There is a right way and a wrong way to pursue justice. I'm saying that we as men and women of God cannot take the bait of hate. Say that with me. We cannot take the bait of hate. Somebody type that. We cannot take the bait of hate. It is easy to hate right now because we Oh my God, are witnessing genocide before our very eyes. God wants to bring to your attention this morning that we cannot fall into the trap of hate because that is the very spirit that is being propelled this, uh, in this organization. Now I'm getting ready to tell you something. This is prophetic right here. We can't take the bait of hate because it's the very spirit that is being propelled by this organization, this secret society, which is designed to suddenly kill black men in order to destroy our race and ultimately drive out our lineage. Drive out our effectiveness, drive out our ability. They there is a secret, say it again, all right. There is a secret society, this is prophetic, that is suddenly killing black men in order to destroy our race and ultimately drive out our lineage. Do y'all hear me? But I came here to declare you today that just like God did for the Israelites, just like he did for the Israelites, Pharaoh is going to have to let his, his people, God's people go. Though there are more of them than it is of us. And the them I'm talking about is not the white man. I'm not talking about the white man in particular. I'm talking about them that hate. Do you understand? I'm talking about the haters, the real haters. Do you understand? The haters. Like Gideon and Jehoshaphat, God will deliver us from the gruesome attack of demonic... Uh, attack of demonically oppressed people consumed with hate. God is going to deliver us from the, the, the people, the demonically oppressed people who are consumed with hate. Do y'all hear me this morning? God is on the side of his people. God is on our side this morning. God is going to fight for us. I'm going to say it again. God is on our side and he is going to fight for us. Who is God's people? You may be asking me. They are not white or black, yellow, red or red, but they are those who have given over their own agenda for the cause of Christ. His people are full of love, 
not for white or black people, but for those who are blood bought believers for Christ. So this morning I came to encourage you to stay away from the spirit of hate. I came to encourage you to stand up not for our brand of justice, but for Jesus's brand of justice. I came to say to you, don't stand up for our brand of justice, but stand up for Jesus's brand of justice. Ask God to remove the threat against people of color. That's what we need. We need God to remove the threat against people of color. Ask God to intervene. These, this is how an intercessor, this is what y'all get your pen, paper, whatever you need to do. Because this is how we need to pray. Yes, God, he will fight for our people. Good morning, Mother Beverly D. Shanae. Good morning. Hallelujah. Come on, y'all. Talk back with me. Share the video so that people know how to pray. So people know what the heart of God is. Because God is not a God of hate. So I'm giving you instruction now as to how to pray. Ask God to remove the threat against, the pe against people of color. Ask God to intervene. Ask God to cause the land, listen to this, to cry out as he did when Cain killed Abel in Genesis 4 and 10. Hayabasita. The land cried out. Ask God to cause the land to cry out. Ask God that the land where they meet, where the secret society meet throughout the country, to plan their evil and to plan their uh, and to destroy us. Ask him to destroy the land, to cause something to come. Let the earth shake where they meet. Destroy their meeting places. Destroy their ability to meet in the name of Jesus. Ask God, hallelujah, to expose the secret societies and their leaders. Expose them. Put them on display in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I'm trying to teach you how to pray. This is how God wants us to fight. Yes, we will protest. Yes, we will use our voice. But the bigger thing, the bigger thing is to get on our knees and allow the angels of the Lord to war in the heavenlies for us. To war in the heavenlies. Oh God, this battle is not ours. It's the Lord's. It's the Lord's. It's the Lord's battle. If we rise up in a violent way, all it's going to do is kill more of us. Learn to fight on your knees. Learn to fight on your knees. Learn how to to pray in the realms of the spirit to cause the angels to excel in strength and war on our behalf. That's why the prayer assassin army is being built right now. That's what God is doing. Learn to pray for real. Ask God to send a spirit of confusion in their organization and cause them to collapse. Hayabasi. Ask God to uproot the spirit of hate throughout the land. Ask God to deal with them the way he ordains. The way he ordains. Ask him to cause the, the, the Davids and the Deborahs to arise. Where is our Martin Luther King? Hayabasike. Hayabasike. God. Haya. Call forth for the Deborahs. And the Davids, the roaring lions, the warriors of God to arise in the name of Jesus. Ask God to 
to move quickly and reposition black men, black women, and children to a place of affluence. Lastly, I am saying it right. I'm saying it is right to protest. It is right to stand up for what is right. But I'm just encouraging you that it is more important that we access heaven through our prayers and the God, hey, that our God would war on our behalf. It is his battle. Hayaba seek it. It, it, um, it is his battle. It is not God's way to respond in hate. It is not God's way to respond with hate. And I want to just put this as a disclaimer. Yeah, I come from a political family, but this, what I'm saying is not political at all. This is not political at all. This is not political at all. This is spiritual. What I am teaching you here this morning is spiritual. This is a spiritual thing that God is saying to you this morning. And right now, even before the end of our prayer, I just want to bind the spirit of retaliation, retribution, and backlash on my life, my family's life, as well as everyone that's on this call. Because what I'm teaching you this morning is really going into the realm of the spirit and knowing the heart of God. And I pray, I pray that you take this seriously. I pray that you take this to heart. I pray that you take this and take it to your knees. Now you know what to pray. You know how to pray. You know the heart of God. You know the heart of God. You know. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a spiritual matter. And my husband is coming to right now. He's going to pray Hayabasi for black men, for people of color. Hayabasi. He's going to pray this morning. Ayabasi kedele bosa. Hayabasi kedele bosi. Andalabasi. Come on, y'all pray with us. Y'all pray in the spirit. You know how to pray. And when you pray in the spirit, all these things that I have put before you this morning. What you need to do is have them in your mind. And if you're praying in tongues, you pray it and you have that in your mind and you're praying in the tongue, those things. If you're praying in English, then just call them out. Pray them out that way. However you are praying, now you know what the heart of God is. Hallelujah. Ah, even now, O oh God, as we have heard your heart this morning, Father God, I pray for black men especially, but men and women of color, O oh God. We pray, God, for justice. Yes. In the name of Jesus, uh, yeah, not revenge, oh God, but we pray uh, yeah, for your righteous justice uh, to go out into this land on today. God, we pray, uh, we pray for vindication, oh God. We pray, oh God, against the secret societies, oh God, that plot evil against us. We pray, oh God, that they will be put to shame. I pray, oh God, that confusion would be in their camps, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that they will be revealed, oh God. I pray, oh God, that there will be discord amongst uh, their their members, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, I pray, God, for your protection, oh God. I pray, God, that you would dispatch the angels, oh God, to war on our behalf, oh God. I pray, God, I pray, oh God, 
that instead of responding in hate, yes. for hate is as a murder according to your word, but God, that we respond strategically with love on our knees, praying, oh God, trusting you. But God, I pray, I pray God for the blood of Jesus to protect us, to protect our families, oh God, to protect to protect our sons and our daughters, oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray, God, for vindication. I pray, God, for justice. I pray, God, for deliverance. I pray, God, for insight. I pray, God, for strategies, oh God, as you set things in place, oh God, to bring salvation and deliverance to men and women of color, oh God. I pray even now, God, oh God, that you would send forth the Davids, oh God, to lead, oh God, us in these times, God. I pray, God, that you would empower us, and that you will allow men and women of influence, oh God, to, to rise up and speak against these injustices. In the name of Jesus, I pray even now, God, I pray, God, your word says in Matthew 22 that those that have anger without a cause will be judged. Your word says that those that have anger without a cause will be judged. And so, God, I pray for justice. I pray for judgment, oh God, not revenge, oh God, not based on how we feel, not based on uh, what we have experienced, but God, based on your righteousness, based on your holiness, God. God, I pray, I pray, oh God, I bind the spirit of fear. I bind that spirit of fear, oh God, of men and women of color, oh God, fearing for their lives, God. I just pray, God, that a peace that surpasses all understanding will be released, oh God, knowing that they are, that you are their deliverer, that you are their savior, that you are their protector, oh God, and no, and no harm shall come nigh to them. In the name of Jesus. And I pray, oh God, I pray, God, for a conviction, a, a, a undeniable conviction by the body of Christ, oh God, to come together. I come against the visions, oh God, even within the body of Christ, oh God, based on color, oh God. But I pray, God, that we will be united, oh God, as your body and that we will take a stance, oh God, that's in line with your word according to Yes. Psalm 35 and Psalms 140. Yes. And I pray, God, as we are unified, oh God, not based on color, but based on our trust and belief in you, Lord Jesus, that the enemy will know, God, that, th that, this, that this will stop. This is a time, oh God, for action. Action on our knees, oh God. Action, oh God, as us coming together, oh God, being of one heart, of one mind, eh, be cool. just like eh, the disciples were uh, when the Holy Spirit came in the upper room, eh, God, uh, that they were all, they had one mind and they were on one accord. I pray, oh God, that the church, your church, God, will be unified in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Lord, protect our sons and our daughters. Hallelujah. Even when they're just walking and running in their neighborhood. God, protect them. Even now, oh God. We plead the blood over our sons and our daughters in the name of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. We plead the blood of Jesus. Yes, yes. One heart. I love what you said. One heart, one mind, one body. That's why Hayaba, see, he's creating these intercessors, these these this prayer assassins. Yes, God. Oh God, she uh, uh prophetess pool. Yes, Lord. He, she said, send the warring angels, oh God. Send the archangel to war on behalf 
of the men and women of color in the name of Jesus. We are in dire times and we have to know how to pray the heart of God. I could not sleep. I could not sleep. Because my heart is going out for all of these men of color. People of color. And we just have to come against the spirit of hate. I want to tell you one more thing before you go this morning. Uh, when I wrote this book, this book here, so y'all know which one I'm talking about. I wrote this book actually in 2003. It took me two years to get it published. It's Hell's Enemy Warfare Prayer to Save a Nation. And I had no idea what God was birthing in me when, he, when I wrote this book. But I know and I just feel like in my heart that God, yes. that this book is for such a time as this. Yes, this is yes, the one. Yes, How yes, about yes, the yes. prayer that is for the nation that's over about the, that? Oh, let me tell you what happened. I, my husband and I were sitting in the bed one night. And then all of a sudden, out of the blue, I, this it, this was went on for about 15 minutes. I had a vision. And the vision was of this, I would say, two, three hundred feet tall it thing i don't know what it, it was black all i know and it rose up and i saw it rising up it was black and it and it, it, it black and, and it was it, it, it was grotesque and i just went into a warfare that i personally at that time had never been in before and then after I came out of it, God began to download this book. He began to download parts of the book to me. And, and, and that was what ignited the book. And the prayer that is in the book. And what I'm saying to you, God was showing me that that spirit was a spirit of hate, yes, the spirit of racism yes. that runs deep all through the roots of mm -hmm. this country. Mm How -hmm. you about see all of the blood, the blood that has been shed yes, for yes, the people of God, color yes. in this country, and there has been no vindication. Yes. How you about so? Yes. It is time that God has an army of intercessors yes. that yes. know how to pray. How you about yes. see? But at the same time, yes. we need a day. And a Deborah, we need someone to stand up and fight. We need a God, somebody with the spirit of the living God inside of them that is not afraid to lose a position, not afraid of their political status, to rise up and fight on behalf of men and women of color. Now is the time. Now is the time. Now is the time. Lord, we love you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Lord. Is there Thank any? You. We're going to pray today. I, I just feel like we need to stay focused. I'm trying to read. Robin said, you have heard that it was said to those of old, you shall not murder, and whoever murders will be in danger of judgment. But I say to you that whoever is angry with his brother without a cause, you just prayed that, honey, yes, 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 without a cause, shall, shall be in danger, danger of judgment. judgment. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, yes. That's yes. The word of God. That's Thank the you, word Lord. Of God. I, I, I feel like, uh, is there anybody that wants us to pray in, in this area this morning? I just think this is the area. I just got a text. Let's see. Against, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. She said, Hallelujah. and, and, and I, I sent out a message to the prayer assassins that we need to pray against a civil war. Yes. We need to pray against a civil war. Now, CK, the reason... I know some of y'all are probably saying, no, we need a civil war. No, because the thing about it is, if it's done without strategy, That's it right. will be ineffective. 
If it's done without strategy, it will be ineffective. And that will cause more of our people to or, or people of color to be killed so how y'all about see how y'all good morning one of my best friends in life tiffany green good morning how y'all about see um so we need to pray high against Civil war. Yes. It pray as 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 we need to pray against civil war. That it pray against revolution and civil war. And that we high about us, those people who know how to pray will go into prayer. High up and war there. Even now, even now, God, we just pray against the enemy's plans to cause civil war to break out in this country, oh God. But I pray, oh God, for strategies, oh God, of how to combat, oh God, the enemy as he attacked men and women of color. I pray in the name of Jesus that we war on our knees, oh God, that we war in the spirit, oh God, seeing the fruits of of our of our prayers come to pass but i pray now against the enemy oh god for he desires oh god hatred uh to combat hatred but god we will combat hatred with your unconditional love oh god we thank you now in jesus name amen Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord. We bind the spirit of racism and hate in this country. Now, Daddy, as we get ready to end our call, I'd like for you to uh, pray a blessing and a covering over everybody on this call this morning and that God would ignite them to pray. Father God, even now, God, we we thank you, O oh God, that you are truly our savior, our deliverer, and our protector. And even now, I plead the precious blood of Jesus over every individual that is on this call, every individual, O oh God, that is on Facebook, and every individual that will that will see uh, and hear what we have said today uh, in the future, in the coming days, oh God. I just pray a covering over, over them. I pray that a hedge of protection will surround them. I pray, oh God, that additional angels will Yay. be dispatched, oh God, to protect Sherry. them, oh God. I pray, God, that additional angels that will be released, oh God, and will go before them, will be behind them, will be beside them. I pray, oh God, that those angels will even reveal Reveal themselves to the enemy so that they will know that you cannot touch the anointed of God in the name of Jesus. I just pray, oh God, I pray, oh God, that as that your protection will give us a boldness to go, oh God, and know God that we can go and do what you say to do. What thus says the Lord, because of the fact that we are covered by the blood, we are protected, oh God, uh, by the angels, oh God, and God, we are operate and we live in your truth and as as we walk in your truth oh god the covering the blood oh god protects us and i just pray oh god i pray god against that lying spirit god that will allow us to uh, to decline to be quiet oh god to be afraid to speak out but god i pray that we operate in the holy boldness of the holy ghost that we operate in the holy boldness of the holy ghost knowing oh god that no thing no thing no thing shall harm us because we are part of the body of christ we pray this now in jesus name hey kuro koshi laraba in jesus name hallelujah, hallelujah. I'm, I'm trying to hallelujah and of course we know hallelujah that we want to pray for peace over our country. Hallelujah. We want to pray for peace over the families who's lost uh, yes. their loved ones. We want to pray that the comforter will comfort them uh, and, 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 the, and God will give them strength to stand during this season. You know, we want to pray for George Floyd's family. Yes. We want to pray for all of the all of the families. We want to pray for everybody who has a, a son, a, a, a son of color, a husband of color. Because we, when they leave, we, we like, Lord, we just plead the blood over them the blood, the in blood, the name the blood, of Jesus. The so of these Jesus, are things we, we know Jesus, to pray the that. The things I was sharing with you today were what was the heart of God, how to pray strategically for these situations. All right. 
We love you. We love you. We thank God for you. And if you want to be a part of the prayer assassin's army, we need for you to just reach out to me. It's a free class, it, and but it's just strategically teaching you how to pray, how to hear and know the heart of God. Remember that we have breakthrough in two every day. Amen. That is, you can use that as your daily devotion. It only takes two minutes to get a word yes. from the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Share this video. And look, share it to your church. Share it to your intercessory yes. prayer groups. Share it, share it, share it. So that we know the heart of God for this matter. In the name of Jesus. Name and, of Jesus. and we just want to thank you for all the, I forgot to say this earlier, for all the book purchases. Yes. Uh, we've been so, you've been buying books left and right. I can't hardly keep God up. God be the glory. One of the books is, um, <laughs> we had, is on back order. So I'm just saying um, thank you for that. And we so appreciate you. And, uh, and we believe that those books will bless you. Oh, blessing. God, I know they're going to bless you. And I know Have for a fact, God, I, he is just talking. This particular Absolutely. book right here yes. for a time such as this yes, is yes, how to pray yes, in this season for this nation. All right. <laughs> We're gone this time for real. Hallelujah. Amen. Bye-bye. God bless. You. God bless.